So up until now, we learned about the basics of WordPress custom query. We learned how you can order your posts, uh, how you can uh, compare your posts by custom fields. And in this episode, we are going to be uh, doing taxonomies. So what are taxonomies? Taxonomy is, is just a fancy word for categories or tags or whatever other type of categorization you would have on your site. So for example, if uh, your site deals with movies, uh, one of your taxonomies can be genres. So you would put your movies in comedies, crime, drama, thrillers and so on. So that can be a taxonomy and also you can create your own custom uh, taxonomies. In these examples we are going to use the taxonomies that come with B WordPress by default and those are tags and categories. This is still a part of uh, beginners uh, lessons. So as you will see these examples that we are going to be doing are actually pretty easy and pretty easy to understand. Uh, just like meta queries are a little bit complicated uh, type of querying your custom fields, uh, there is something called text query which is a little bit more complicated type of querying your taxonomies. So we are going to be doing that in the future episodes, but in this episodes we are going to just stick to the basics. Behind the scenes uh, I actually deleted all the posts, I created my own custom categories and tags uh, because they are a little bit read more readable than those uh, Latin stuff you have. So I have categories like apples, cookies and oranges and I have tags like CSS, Craft, uh, SAS, Ruby, Drupal and so on. Uh, also I did a little bit of uh, change in my HTML so as you can see right here just so that we can get uh, a better view of what categories or tags belong to what posts and I did just a little bit of styling of course everything that has been done here will be available for you uh, on github uh, the description will uh, the link will be in the description below so let's get started with querying our taxonomies so <clears throat> Let's say we wanna display only the posts that have cut, uh, that are in the categories called apples. Actually, that are in the category called apples. So we can do that by just going uh, to our administration, uh, going to categories, and then if I hover over apples right here, you will see down here the ID of that category. So if I go to apples you will see that uh, tag ID is equal to 17. So ID of this category is 17. So what we can do right now is we can just go to our code editor and then just do something like cat is 17. So we are using IDs to filter out the posts with certain categories. Save this. If we go to our page right now, you will see that all of these posts have category of apples, 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 and apples. Okay, great. So what if we uh, don't like to use IDs, we can use something uh, like this. So we can go category name and then in quotation signs we would actually just write the categories that we want to display actually the posts within certain categories so we can do something like apples and oranges if we save this we will get pretty much the same results uh, we will get all the posts that have categories of apples apples, oranges right here, apples, oranges and so on. Okay, so this is pretty easy. As I said before, uh, nothing to it. Also, you can do something like this. So, these are the, this is the only way that you can use actual names of categories. 
uh, but I would advise actually against using names because someone can come into here and say okay I don't want this category to be called apples anymore I want it to be called something else so I want it to be called peaches for example so uh, that would screw up your uh, custom query because the name has changed and if the name changes that is a problem if you're using category name but if you're using IDs of uh, of your categories or your tags uh, IDs never change so if I change this to uh, let's just say peaches peaches update category okay and if we take a look at our query right now you will see we don't get anything because we don't have anything in the peaches uh, category but if I do cat 17 uh, that we did before then we actually get all the same posts that we get uh, that we did get before so this is because the ID of the category will never change but the name can change and that could cause a problem for you so I would advise you to always uh, use category IDs or tag IDs for your queries okay so let's say that we want to display categories uh, uh, actually posts that are in two certain categories so they have uh, uh, the post has to be let's say in the cookies category and in peaches category so they those posts must be in those two categories so uh, we don't want to display the posts that are only in cookies uh, or that are only in peaches so they have to be both so to do that we will just uh, say okay peaches are number 17 and cookies ID is 20 so you can check it out down here okay so what we can do is we can do something like category and then you do uh, two underscores and say end so uh, post ma post must be in category 17 and category 20 and then you would do an array and just write your IDs so 17 and 20 okay if we save this we get just this one post because this post has uh, peaches and cookies okay what else can we do? Uh, we can say something category not in and then we can either pass it an array or just uh, but it's better if you always pass an array so we can say that we don't want to show posts that have category of uh, peaches or uh, category ID of 17 so if you save this and go right here as you will see we don't have any posts that are in category peaches so it will show all of them uh, except for those posts also we can do 20 or you can do I don't know let's see this is 17 this is uh, 15 and this is 19 so we can say 17 15 and 19 save it and if we look at our query right now we shouldn't have any posts in categories peaches books and cars so as you can see there are no peaches books and cars right here okay and also you can use but this gets pretty much the same results as we did before uh, <clears throat> you if you wanna display a few categories so the post can be in either of categories 
we can just do category in so if we do 17 15 and 19 it will display all the posts that are in categories 7 that have category 17 15 or 19 uh, but they don't have to have all three of them just one of them so if we save this we will get something like this so every one of these posts should have either category peaches books or cars so this one has peaches this one has books uh, this one has peaches books cars cars books books and so on so as you can see this is pretty easy stuff okay so let's now do tags as you will see tags have pretty much the same rules as categories except they only have a few more rules that you can apply uh, that you can't apply with categories so to do uh, one tag you just do tag and then you would do the name of the tag so let's say we wanna display all the posts that have a tag of CSS save this if we go right here you can see we have tag CSS tag CSS okay you can of course so when you use tag you use uh, the name of the tag and the same things apply here like with categories you probably shouldn't use the name of the tag uh, and if you don't want to do that you would do tag ID so let's see what tag IDs we have if I go to tags right here and then let's say we want to display uh, craft tags uh, the tag ID of craft is 25 so I would just go right here and say 25 and now we should get all the posts that have tags of craft so craft craft and craft okay uh, we can also just like with categories use tag and so that means that uh, all the posts have to have two or three or five tags uh, that uh, applied to them so they must have all three of them all two of them and so on so you would do array and let's say we want to do craft uh, let me just see all the posts so uh, we don't get empty stuff so let's say craft and says so if I go to tags uh, craft is number 25 and says is has an ID of 32 so we want to get all the posts that are in uh, says and in craft they have to be in both of them so 25 and 32 save this and now we should get uh, oh, we didn't get anything okay sorry uh, it just like with categories it should be tag underscore underscore and okay save it right now and now we get just this one post because only this post has tags of craft and says okay uh, you can also do tag not in and you pass an array so uh, we shouldn't have any posts that have uh, tags either says or craft so let's check it out as you can see there is no says or craft in this list of posts okay uh, the next thing we can do uh, is do tag in just like we did with category in so uh, we are going to display all the posts that are either in craft uh, tag or uh, says tag so if we save this this one has craft this one has craft and says this one has says and this has this one has craft so pretty easy stuff uh, the two more rules that you can apply for tags are tag slug end so you write it like this tag slug and and you have to have two underscores right here 
So this is going to search for tags uh, by slug name. So if we go right here and do quick edit, you can see that you have a name of the tag and the slug of the tag. So you would always use this one. So we can do the same example as before, just that we would have craft and we would also have sass. Okay, so the thing about slugs, there, uh, you better use slugs than names, uh, because if I change this to something else, something else, update tag, uh, you will see that we will get the same result, because uh, the category. Uh, or tag uh, can change their names uh, and uh, they can't change their IDs but also uh, they don't don't have to change their slugs so as you can see this is still a slug of craft uh, but the name is something different so if you want to use names instead of IDs, I suggest you do, do it something uh, like this because you don't have to change the slug of the tag. Uh, of course, uh, if you go to the slug display page, uh, actually to tag display page to display all the tags you have uh, and you uh, click on something else, uh, the URL will actually be uh, craft, not something else. But what can you do? And also you could do tag slug in. So you want to display all the tags that have a slug uh, of craft and sass. But don't have to have both of them. Just like tag in or category in. So as you can see, you can do it like this. Okay, so that's it. Uh, as I said before, this is just this is still a part of beginner's lessons. In the future vid videos we are going to be doing something uh, called tax query uh, which gets much more complicated but uh, it's much more flexible. So uh, with tax queries you can do you can say something like okay I want the this these posts to be in certain taxonomy and certain other taxonomy and they have to be in both of them and have to have uh, both uh, both have to have the same names or something like that so you can do uh, much more complicated stuff than you can do with just this category and tag rules Thank you guys for watching, I uh, hope you liked the video, if you did like it, please like it, uh, if you like the channel, like the channel, uh, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook, everything we'll, we did here will be available for you on GitHub, uh, the link is in the description below, and that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.